and welcome back so in today's tutorial we will be trying something different okay so in today's tutorial we will uh, we'll see how we can generate csv okay so actually i was exploring around service now and this question binged in my mind that how the csv get generated okay can we generate the csv on our own so let's see how we can generate the csv and then that csv will be attaching it uh, to some incident or any other record okay let's work on the incident table only so before that let's jump on to what we have to write let's let's write a fixed script for the same okay i'll go to fixed script and we will give it a name as so we'll generate a csv for all the incident which are in active state okay i think uh, that is that is a good example okay so let's give it a name like incident generate incident csv and we'll get started so first and the foremost thing is like whenever we want to create a csv we have to define what are the rows we want to have okay so uh, basically rows will be the columns uh, sorry columns uh, we have to define so what all columns we want so we will continue with couple of columns okay and then based on your requirement if you have such kind of requirement then you can extend it out the way you want so for example uh, what i will do i will start with variable headers and let's give couple of field names okay so it's not necessary that you have to give the backend name only because we are generating a file so let's give some of them so we will give giving number then what else we can give caller whatever is coming in my mind i am just giving it out then short description description then what else assignment group and the last one we will give assign to i think this is fine for assign to so these are the headers so this this is the information which we, we are trying to extract today okay now the second step is like here we have to give the file name because the file will get generated right? what should be the name of the file you can keep it dynamic also if you have a use case but now we are creating it a static file one file only right so we will give it as file name variable it should be variable file name and we will give it as incident dot csv and we have to give it into inverted commas so we have given the file name now what next now we have to create us uh, we will be creating what is the csv data so first of all we will be creating a string and then we will be converting that string into attachment okay so let's create a string so we will give variable csv data equal to and in the start it will be empty string only right so this is done now we will create the headers for for our file okay we will just fix the headers and then we will start populating the data for the same so how we can do that we can simply do it by headers is it right headers dot for for each and give function so what i'm doing i'm just iterating through that uh, headers okay what you can see number color short description and so on okay so ele is element uh, inside this Mm, we will give csv data equal to csv data so what i am doing i am just appending to, to the headers okay that's why i am giving like this csv data plus in single inverted comma you have to give double inverted comma reason for this is like it's 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 a string we are defining right okay so we uh, we are putting all the operation in single inverted comma and double inverted comma is a part will be a part of string 
don't get confused into this plus ele let's give space ele plus we'll give the same single inverted comma followed by double inverted comma we will delete one okay it will delete one okay and then at the last we have to give the comma because all the columns will be separated by comma only right so in single inverted comma we will give co comma so this is how the headers can get prepared so we are done with the headers we can think we are done with the headers what exactly is the error Using semicolon, let's give the semicolon. So using this, we have created the headers. Okay, we have extracted the headers on the CSV data. Now we want active incidents as a part of this, right? So let's extract the active incident. So variable gr incident equal to new glide record on which table it's incident. Sorry, my bad. Incident, and then we want GI incident. We want only active incidents, so we'll add active query. Then we'll like GI incident dot query. Okay. Now what we have to do? We have created column headers, right? CSV headers. Now we have to start populating the data in the same. Okay. How we can do that? So it will be while gr dot next gr yeah, incident dot next one thing i missed over here okay i just remember that after this we want a line break also right okay because we want the pop data to be populated on the next line next line the same way so what we can do for that we can do csv data equal to csv data plus we have to give backslash r backslash n so that the date the next data will come into the next line okay it's a line break kind of thing so while gr dot next what we have to do we have to iterate through the data and just append it to the csv data string so we can do csv data equal to now this is a hectic part okay i don't like it so we first we will first took the data which we have created till now the string the header string plus now again the same thing in single inverted comma you have to add double inverted comma i will just zoom out so it will be pretty clear okay so we have to assign it for each and every phase plus we have to do gr incident dot number and you have to go with the same sequence right okay what's there at the top and then it should be closed with the same so it will be plus single inverted comma this time it should have comma also right okay because two elements get separated by comma itself so this is done for the first field in the similar way we have to do for all the fields okay which are there on the form so how many fields we have one two three four five so let's do it the five times so one time is done I do plus i will add it to the next line only so that i will get idea if i'm missing something out because this is this is pretty hectic three then again plus it will be tab 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 so i'm just making it just to give some readability to the code as people will not understand right what exactly i was writing and it also signifies that i am writing the same thing again and again right so let's start filling it out so the number is done now what we have to do the next one is caller right so we have want a display value for the same so what how we can do give it 
we can get a caller underscore id dot get display value why get display value okay why display value we want to use because of how an external will understand right what is the society for so let's give a display value for the thing so this particular attribute is done then the next one is short description let's go with the short description now so the backend name for short description is short so description now here you have to give the backend name okay don't think in the terms of the headers only here you have to give the backend name also only what is all about. so short description is done then what's next so after short description we have assignment group so for that we have to give assignment underscore group dot get display value and the last one is assigned to I will just copy this out and just change this this is wrong let's paste it out and for assign to it's just we have to change group to two I think I'm done over here okay. and for the last one as you know in the JSON also for the last one we don't require comma so I just removed it out gave a semicolon to the same and then what this error is all about let's check this out first so this particular header got started and over here this is over here what others are doing we don't need you guys so we will be following the same thing again I will just copy paste it out after every iteration after every row we want a line break control A shift tab and once this is done the CSV data got created now okay now the next step is like we have to attach it out to certain incident for example so let's do that for that it's pretty easy right variable gr gr record i will just give because i have already used gr incident at the top equal to new glide record let's attach it to any incident and let's attach it to any incident so I will just go here I will just incident dot list cancel or save it out I don't want to lose my things out okay so we will do MC then dot list and let's take zero zero one one this particular incident. So let's attach there is no attachment to this particular incident. Let's copy the society for the same. Okay. I go back over here. I can put first I first of all I will expand the screen. And here I can do GR record dot get what you want to get the record with the society test and then if the record exists right we want to create an attachment so <clears throat> let's create an attachment and attach it to the same so let's do that so it will be variable how to at create an attachment and attach it to the record okay so there is a API for it which is glide attachment okay so we'll be using that API. 
किया एचमेंट इक्वल टू न्यू लाइड अटैचमेंट ओके एंड नाउ फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर एपीआई वी विल बी यूजिंग फंक्शन कॉल्ड राइट वॉट दिस विल डू इट विल क्रिएट एन अटैचमेंट एंड अटैच टू अ स्पेसिफिक रिकॉर्ड सो वॉट वी टू दी आज अटैचमेंट dot right and now it asks for four attributes okay first is the the record on which you want to attach so it will be it will be gr record so the first thing is sorted the second thing is the file name okay what should be the file name of the created record so we have already created an attribute called file name so we'll be giving that the third attribute is like what kind of what kind of file this is so it's application slash csv because it's a csv file and the fourth attribute is like the string the data string which you have created which is csv not csv csv data and done so what we did over here we have created first we have defined the headers first okay we have defined the file name we have defined the csv data which is empty then we created headers then we re uh, glide record the incident table uh, had a query of active query okay loop through that records okay and just create a create a string csv string and then we are attaching it to the sit creating an attachment and attaching it to the record using sys attachment glide sys attachment api i'll save it out and now let's run so if i run this out proceed okay the api got executed let's see if any incident got created any record got created oh we got this incident.csv file right perfect this is what we were expecting now what we want we will go to the downloads let's download this out and see whether we got the data or not for the same so i will open the file and here you can see we got the data with the headers called number color short description assignment to assignment group okay these are the headers and these are the records for the same assign to came undefined why let's look into that maybe i made a mistake she s s i g assigned to uh, it's not assignment to assigned to to get display value okay this was a minor grammatical mistake i can say okay so this is all for today's tutorial in today's tutorial we have seen a script to generate csv how we can generate csv using script this was just an overview how we can do it out based on your use case you can redefine the script out okay you can modify the script out and use it accordingly one of the use cases which i can see is like you where you want to generate you have to send a notification to someone okay by generating csv so you will write the script which will generate the csv and on the fly it will get attached to the notification and you can send the notification with all this information so hope you like this video uh if you like this video please subscribe to my channel so that you will get you will be notified for future coming videos till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you